thanks for coming on a mini conversation. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> a rainy day. I heard it always rains on your mini conversations. And what does that remind you of? Well, it reminds me of our wedding day, April 27th, 19... 19, let's see, 38 years, 1980. Well, what a great ride, 38 years. Yep, yep. yep. Not yeah. bad, huh? Nope, not For bad at all. For two old coots, we're still <laughs> hanging in. Next year, it will be 20 years at USC and 10 right. years in the presidency. Who would have thought right. we would have um, we would have done this gig for that long? I know. Well, I think when you love something, it goes by fast. Any uh, any favorite moment of being here at Carolina? Oh my gosh, so many. I loved when we celebrated the 50th anniversary of desegregation. Mm -hmm. that, I felt like that was so meaningful and so wonderful for our community. Sure. How about beating Alabama on uh, game day when <laughs> they were ranked good. number one? That's it. Gamecocks win. Garcia with a brilliant game. That was pretty I good. I still have the champagne bottle from that night. Open or unopen? Is there a single word that maybe well represents what marriage uh, means to you? Well, for me, um, I guess it's, it's not only about marriage, but I think one of the most essential ingredients is respect, to respect one another. The other thing I really think about is communication. Maybe and every... many conversations are just not long enough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so for me, I think the word I would add, and by the way, I love respect and communication, I would add romance. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. think uh, a good marriage needs to have romance, and I found this heart. Aww. I thought it would be nice to give to you. Thank you. As a small remembrance. Thank you very much. Yeah. Every uh, happy marriage ought to have a mini conversation once in a while. No, that's true. We've got two great children. We have mm -hmm. two great grandchildren. We don't see them maybe as much as we would like, but it all works out, doesn't well, it? Well, I think we do very well considering they're so far flung. You know, yeah. we have them in California. So I think we do very well to see them five or six times a year. How about the day we met? How well do you remember that? I remember everything about it. Do you remember the date? September 8th, 1977. Okay, I think that's right, 77. That mm -hmm. sounds right. September the 8th is right. And do you remember not more than an hour or two after we met, mm -hmm. uh, which was where? At Yale, in the School of Public Health. Your first day of grad school. My first day of grad school. And I offered to take you for a ride and show you around town. Yes, because I missed my bus. <laughs> because you missed your bus, and I took you around I was around supposed town. to be on a bus ride to take me to see all the health facilities in New Haven with my class. But I had asked you if you, re if you could tell me where the bursar's office was so I could go pay my bill. And you said, well, if you can wait five minutes, I'll walk you there. And you walked me there, but then you walked me to about five other places, and I missed my bus ride of the tour of the healthcare facility. And I think I missed the class, by the way. I didn't know that. But we then got in my Volkswagen Beetle and drove up to East Rock Park. And what happened then? You had a camera in your car, which had only two remaining pictures on, a, on the film. And, and you said, why don't I take a picture of you and you take a picture of me? So how cool and romantic is that? How many couples would love to have a picture of themselves on the day they met? Everyone's got a picture of the day they were married. Right. But very few people have a picture of themselves on the day they met. Do you know that when I'm speaking, it could be to hundreds uh, of people at one of those commencements, let's say at USC Union? Mm -hmm. or to many thousands at the Colonial Life Arena that I'm, I don't know if you know this, but I really key in on you. I always like to know exactly where you're sitting. Mm -hmm. And if I can look over there in a glance and you're smiling or offer an approving nod, that means so much to me. Oh, thanks, hon. How about music? What are you, what are you uh, listening to these days? Let's see if you remember what wonderful song we danced to at our wedding 38 oh, years wow. ago. Oh, wow. Here it is. Do you recognize it? Yes, I do. Oh my love gosh. Must be some kind of love. I'm going to start crying.
crying <laughs> and the light screen. <laughs> I brought along a tune with me that you may or may not remember. Okay. And it involves our kids as well. It was there was a New Year's Eve. They were they were still pretty young, and we had to cancel our New Year's Eve plans because one or the other or maybe even both were sick. So we tried to make the best of it and I dialed this up on our, uh, gee, I don't know if it was our CD player or on our cassette machine and the kids <laughs> heard it and they were as familiar with it as you and I were and we started dancing. CNC Music Factory. CNC Music Factory. <laughs> <laughs> I can still dance to it. Okay. Great. Well, maybe those two songs reflect our um, our lives. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on this ride with me. I love you, thank and let's you. keep it going. I love you too, honey. Oof. Want me to come around and get you with the umbrella? <laughs> yeah. I'll come around and get you. Because this is what you do after 38 years of marriage. You share. <laughs>